Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video here on Variety and Errors. Keep in touch for a lot of new videos coming out, mainly about pricing, uh, price guides, and video form. And on VarietyAirs.com, we have updated a lot of our coin and bill price guides, both for variety coins and bills and error coins and bills. They are completely free, so check out VarietyAirs.com, and right at the front page uh, leads you out to all the uh, wonderful content on there. But let's get right to this bill search. As you can see, we have some ink issues uh, that are post-production for this bill. Obviously, uh, although there is some blue in a $20 uh, 2013 Federal Reserve note, this shade of blue down here and this blackish blue ink at the top here uh, are not shades of ink used in the production of U.S. currency. So that would have been something that happened after production. I get a lot of questions about this in email through the Facebook page as well as the website comment section. And by the way, I really appreciate how, I mean, VarietyAirs.com is set up to be a community where we all help each other. We do have a few people, including myself, that run the site. Uh, but thank you so much to those that jump right in, comment on other people's comments if they know the answer or know a good link outside of varietyandairs.com uh, to be able to help others out in learning stuff about coins and bills. Let's get uh, moving along. We have some damage to this bill. Nice tear down here, nice tear up here. And this ink kind of splotching from the front bleeds through on the top here as well as down here. So I don't see anything too crazy on this note. A uh, little bit too much damage for me to hold on to it. So we'll keep on a keeping on. 2017, $1 note. Uh, nothing in the serial number. Little bit of a shift in the seal, which also coincides with the serial number, uh, if you're familiar with bills. Generally, when it's shifted in the uh, Department of the Treasury seal, you'll see it slightly shifted in the serial numbers. On the back of the note, a little bit of a bleed through of that uh, serial number from the front there, but that's really common. So unless you can see the whole serial number, I would not say it's something that uh, is valuable. And a little bit of the same dealio with the lettering uh, that states that it's legal tender from the front of the note. So nothing much there. Moving on. A lot better condition than that previous $20 note. Another 2017 note, very similar serial number. So these were close, I mean, they're obviously in the same series, but close in uh, serial number. Little bit of shift in the seal as well. So like I said, that is common. It's not dramatic enough for me to hold on to, but something to keep an eye out on. Little bit of wedding transfer of the word one from the back of another note that sat atop this one. Uh, so that's what that excess stuff is to the sides there. So we're primarily looking for ink smears, fancy serial numbers, and then uh, print issues. Let's look at the reverse of the note. Uh, a little bit of a wedding transfer. It looks like a thumbprint, but it's actually the jacket of uh, Washington from the front of the note, transposed from another note that sat below this one, uh, but nothing there. Nice, beat up, burnt, $1 note, 2009 series. Only difference here, of course, is the signature is from any other $1 note uh, since the 50s. Little bit of a shift down, but we got a nice burn mark here. That's what that's from. I mean, unless it's somehow coffee, but you can feel it. And it, I mean, well, you can't feel it, but I can feel it. And it's definitely uh, rough from heat being uh, exposed to the bill or the bill exposed to heat, whatever. Now that we look at the back, it looks more like a stain. But either way, it detracts from the value of the bill. There's no color uh, used in the production of bills that's brown and dirty looking. And I don't see anything else on that bill. Another $20 note, 2013 series. So same series as that first one we came across, albeit in much better condition. Nothing on the front of the note here. Let's look at the back. Now, we added a few good articles about upcoming uh, theoretical changes to the graphics on bills. Let me know in the comments below what you think uh, would be great changes to U.S. currency uh, as far as graphically. 
Uh, and we talk about a lot of things as far as anti-counterfeiting measures that are both in bills currently and then are uh, supposed to be coming out in bills throughout the 2020s uh, to fight counterfeiting. Almost got a good uh, broken ladder here with one, two, three, four, five, six. If we would have had a seven here instead of a nine, would have been a great note. I would have held on to that. So keep in mind when you're looking through notes for broken ladders or ladder serial numbers. Pretty beat up, definitely been wet. That's what this uh, rippling kind of wrinkled effect is from. Nothing there. And nothing really on the back. A little bit of writing down there from a blue pen. Yeah, $5 note. I love the design on the newer, I quote unquote, newer fives. They've been out for almost 20 years now, so they're not new, new, but they're newer in comparison to the old design. Uh, but I really like these designs of the great seal in the background there. Um, they're talking about changing up fives again here in coming years, maybe in the next decade. We'll see that. But uh, nothing on the front of this note. No misprints, nothing in the serial number. A little bit of a shift up. So once again, the seals and the serial number, well, this seal and these serial numbers uh, are done at the same portion of printing, which is during the second print phase. So generally, if you see them shifted up, you'll see a slight ticker up in the seal and vice versa. Yeah, pretty beat up on the back, so can't really tell if there's any error to it. But it all looks pretty, uh, pretty uh, decently printed there. 2013 series one dollar note great repetition of fives and a little bit of fours i wish we would have had a uh, well 31 further in the series somebody got a really good serial number of four four all fives four four so they would have had bookends and they would have had a radar note and they would have had a repeater so a triple kind of variety note there we don't have that note so we're less lucky but somebody out there in a great example of what to look for is uh, repetition of the serial numbers, and they would have had a binary note. So, I mean, it would have been all sorts of fun to collect. So keep an eye out for that. So, like, in this case, 4-4, four, 4-5s, four, four, 4-4 four, four would have been, like, four different varieties of this $1 note to hold on to. Would have definitely commanded a few bucks over face value. To the right collector like myself, I'd pay, you know, 6-7 bucks for a $1 note with those things, maybe 10 bucks. So, I mean, you can't beat that when it comes to a value over $1 uh, on this bill. Nothing on the back, a little bit beat up. I would have loved to see the condition a little bit nicer if it was collectible, but hey. 2013 series note, kind of same deal. This one's really beat up. It looks like he's kind of squinting at us in disapprovement here. Uh, but March 17th and then no year on the end. I get a lot of people that comment about birthday notes. The... You collect whatever you want to collect. That's the beauty of this hobby. Uh, but the normal layout of a bill with a birthday serial number is going to be month, day, and then a full four-digit year, just like you would write the date, well, here in the U.S., write the date on pretty much anything. Uh, so when it comes to U.S. money, I think it kind of kind of falls in the same line there. Really beat up little bit of damage up here from where it got the fold in it so keep on keeping on another really crinkly note nothing the serial number 2013 bill so we've come across a couple of those definitely been uh, crunched up and wrinkled it's also been wet I can tell that I mean wet and then dried out of course a little bit of damage at the bottom there it's hard to tell if anything's on this bill as far as print errors and stuff due to the damage, uh, but I've seen worse. I mean, this little uh, miscoloring here is most likely from when this bill was exposed to moisture and then dried out. So we'll just move on. Another 2013 note. Little bit of an over ink here, but it's very slight, and that's super common on 2013 notes, so I won't hold on to that for that reason. Yeah, wet once again, you can tell from that discoloration, or it's somebody's really oily hands. So there's a variety of things that could have caused that damage. Either way, it was after production and not worth anything. And 2013, $20 note, a little bit of 
blood or something. Well, it's too too glittery. Maybe a fairy blood on it or something. But some sort of gel pen broke on that. Uh, nothing in the serial number. Everything else is printed really nicely on this bill. Nice and in the same place it's supposed to be. And a little bit of bleed through that serial number from the front, but that's a common occurrence when it comes to U.S. currency uh, of any denomination. So once again, I wouldn't hold on to it for that reason. Keep on moving on. 2017 $1 note, probably better condition than a lot of them we've come across despite this little fold here. Now one thing as I'm unfolding this... Got a little bit of some ink issues here in the corner of the bill. Cool. So nothing major, but it's a little bit of ink smearing going on here. Maybe when this bill got, I mean, and it could be, I'll look at it closer under a scope, but it looks to be uh, a little bit of smearing from when the bill got printed. Uh, this portion of the bill maybe got grabbed or something during the process. They are still slightly wet when they go through the cutting process and then they're stacked together. That's where you get wetting transfers from, um, whereas you get that right there. But normally it doesn't reside down in this corner. So although very minor, I'm going to hold on to that for this little bit of ink issues going on down in the corner. Moving on, last two notes. Nothing crazy in this bill, certs. This is a very similar, this is a one-digit difference. Uh, so these were that previous note and then this one. But as you can see, this note here does not have that problem. So interesting. Like I said, I'll take a closer look at that previous note. Nothing in the serial number here. Lots of wet ink transfer on this one, though, but or a little bit of bleed through one of the two. Now, the front of the $1 note where the top of it sits is a little higher than the back of the note, so they don't mesh up uh, absolutely direct upon one another. So, I mean, you do get this, as you know, uh, but nothing there. Last but not least, $5 2013 series note. Nothing in the serial number as I can see. Uh, print all seems to be pretty good, so a little bit of damage here from where it got folded at one point. Looks like a little piece of tape is on the front of it. Looking at the back of the note, nothing crazy there. Let's zoom in just slightly. There we go. And fold nice and beat up, so nothing there. Still a good $5 note. Can buy me a sandwich later for lunch during work. What am I holding on to? I think a very small find. I wouldn't be surprised to say that it might not be what I think it is. But right now, it visually appears to be a little bit of an ink smear. And I'll look under a scope to see if that's the case. I appreciate you coming to another video. Not as exciting. We don't always come across the big, huge treasure find, but that's the love of this hobby. That's the fun of this hobby. You still end up with the same amount of money you started with. Let me know what your finds are in the comments below, and stay tuned for another giveaway on VarietyAirs.com at the end of the month. I will see you later.